Hello and welcome to Gemini Soul Tarot. Today we will be doing a general or a love reading. It could resonate with either one. And this will be for our earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I will be asking my spirit guides to give me the messages for our Virgos or Taurus, Capricorn. This is for earth signs, general or love reading. Your guides, give me the messages for our earth signs. Guys, this may not resonate with you all. If not, please just throw it out into the universe. If it does, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. I would appreciate it. So let's just get into it, earth signs. Show me the energies, earth signs you may be dealing with, spirit guides. Please show me the energies. All right. Now, I didn't fall out, but uh, earth signs, you guys could definitely be dealing with a heartbreak. This is the, this is the three of swords. Um, you could be dealing with a third party situation or just heartbreak. I'm going to take this card here as the overall, and I guess we will see if this is what the message will be about, okay? I always take that first flipper no matter where it goes, being the energy. Uh, hopefully, you know, energies can also change. It doesn't also mean that you know, earth signs are going to be all heartbroken. All right. Well... Earth sign, the next cup, that, <laughs> I said cup. <laughs> well, we could definitely be dealing with love. We have the three of swords, and then we have the six of cups. So the six of cups could definitely be dealing with love. Childhood, it could be a childhood love you had, maybe a baby mama, a baby daddy, uh, someone from the past. I don't know if they coming back or a relationship that you're working on or one that broke your heart. Or maybe you guys have been together married or together since you know teenage years you've been together and uh there's a possibility there could be a heartbreak in it that you guys are separating or moving on from each other just feeling perhaps that for our sign we can see if it doesn't resonate it doesn't <laughs> all right all three of these and i'm not gonna take them because they're gonna pop out if it's meant to come back out, the spirit guides will bring them back out for you, Earth sign. Okay, all right. Earth sign, we got a lot of cups here, so we, we're dealing with love, and we're walking away. This is the Eight of Cups. Um, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, someone is walking away from you, or you walking away from someone. Yeah, because you're not even looking at their cup. You're not... Whatever this situation is, this heartbreak that they did, you just, you can't get over it. You, 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 you can't get over it. You don't see how you can get over it. Uh, it looks like you guys may have had a relationship for a very long time. It could be six years, nine years, three years, three months. Uh, I don't know. It could be three, three weeks, you know, because sometimes you just fall in love as soon as you see a person and know that that person is for you. Um, I'm definitely seeing a relationship that we're walking away from. Um, it could definitely be a relationship uh, from the past. Again, like I say, I see children's in this card. It could be a marriage that was uh, together for, you know, you guys was together for quite some time. And somebody's just walking away because they do not see a wish fulfillment. Or like, they're not even looking up. And they like whatever you offer him, no, I don't I don't want it. Right? They discontent. Underneath you have and you know the spirit is just guiding me to these cards. Y'all know I love flippers, but when he tell me to keep going, I keep going. You got the temperance card. So you know that you're going to need to be patient in this situation. Um, but you will get equal give and take at the end of the day. 
uh, with whatever decision you make. Um, if this is a decision that you and a partner is making to walk away from this relationship, um, it's being guided by the universe, right? The divine has his hand in this, right? This is a major arcana. I also see this as equal give and take. Perhaps it's a marriage and you guys are concerned about who will get what and uh, will it be equal when you uh, try and close this cycle out, whether it's material, love, um, you're trying to, you could be just, perhaps you still love this person and you're just trying to balance your feelings out as you're walking away, but you know that it's, the right thing to do that this person you know sometimes people you know you got the the empress here in reverse so this definitely could be you know you were the wife the mother type taking care of everything you know feeling that you were uh this person's wish fulfillment doing your best or perhaps this person you know earth sign is seeing that you are no longer acting as if you know, you are the wifey in control, take, you know, and holding your part in the relationship. And they don't see you as marriage material anymore. Or the empress also, I see the empress in reverse. This is like someone wanting to also be single because she's pissed. Like, I've dealt with this situation far too long. And uh, I think that I'm going to move on and I'm not going to nourish this situation because, you know, the Empress, she nourishes everything. Families, you know, you get a cut on your leg, they take care of it. You come in, your back hurt, I'm going to run your bath for water. Uh, you, I got your lunch uh, ready for you in the morning, breakfast on the table. Um, you know, it's also Virgo. I didn't clean the whole house from top to bottom. When you come in, all you got to do is come in and relax, you know. I've got the mail already. And shoot, some of the emperors say I took the trash out too, you know. Sometimes, you know, it all depends on how much time they got on their hand. Because, you know, Virgos and emperors go together <laughs> to, to me. That's just the way I see it. People see things any way they want, but that's the way I see. Okay, this is the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is definitely... This empress is in reverse and realizing, you know what? I'm not bound. I, I need to balance things out in my life. I, I, I don't think I can no longer be your wife or husband. And the reason why is because I'm not happy in this situation. I don't, you know, I don't, or either I don't feel you see that I was a gift to you. You don't appreciate me. Uh, this three of swords, no more. I need to see the worth in myself. I am tired of the women calling me, texting me, or your phone going off all times of night. I'm tired of you coming in all times of night. I'm tired of you not seeing my worth when I'm here taking care of the kids, taking care of your home, and you're nowhere to be found. And when you are found, you come in and don't have enough attention for me. Uh, that you're so much out there doing anything and everything except taking care, balancing out the love with me. So therefore, I am going to balance it out myself. So I will no longer be your wife or your husband. I'm going to go balance things out by myself, right? Uh, get my uh, Go look for my own equal give and take. So the only way I can do that is to walk away from this situation. And I don't care if it how long it's been. I don't care I got kids by you. I don't care that this we've been together since children. I don't care. I don't care if we got six years in, seven years, whatever years. What I do know that in this relationship, I am not fulfilled. And I no longer see it as a gift from the universe. I'm not happy. Now, Earth. This is either one or any of you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It don't matter. It's any of you. Okay? Let's keep going. Let's see what else. Mm, yeah. Well, Earth sign. You're going to need to know somebody is crying over spilled milk. Because they realize that you realize you out of there. And they like, wait a minute. Hold on. But I think it's a little too late. I think it's too late. But <laughs> I think it's too late. You could have been dealing with someone that was so, like, stuck in their ways. That no matter how you talk to this person, they couldn't hear you. 
You could use, uh, you know, like they use the speakers, you know, the big speakers. I, I can't think of what it is. Y'all put it in the comment what it's called, called. And they use it and they're talking really loud on like, uh, maybe, yeah, the intercom thing. And they're just trying to, and no matter how loud, how high you turn this up, this person is sitting here and they did not hear you, right? They could have been a little narc in there, right? They could have been a little narcissist and just not hearing you just... This is the way things are. You are the wife or the husband. You're supposed to do these things, you know. And people get caught up in those energies of what somebody is supposed to do. No, people are supposed to do things from their heart, from their soul, because they want to. Not because you sit up there telling them uh, with the hive mind situations, things of what society say they should do. I should come in and cook and keep your house clean and take care of the kids. Or I should come... Um, in and give you my whole check and not worry about where it's going like no that's not it equal give and take in a relationship and balance yeah you should be coming in giving the kids a bath sometime how about you run me some bath water sometime how about you wash the dishes sometime how about you take the garbage out sometime how about you get out there this is taking it a little far and try to change the oil on the car or take the car in because you know it needs service you know so it's different things. It depends on what it is you want out of life. But you don't sit up there and get yourself caught up and stuck in a relationship because somebody is stuck in their ways of how they see a relationship should be. And so when you're not fulfilling what it is that they want, they become very narcs. So that's narcissistic. And they don't, when they become that away, they start doing things that they know will trigger you, right? And then you're sitting up there figuring out what it is that you did wrong. Or you're just like, man, I just cannot seem to communicate with this person. No matter how I sit, I talk, I cry, I write letters, I text during the day. What time you coming home so I can have dinner and all this. They just have the guard up. They're not having it. They don't want it. They're not doing it. And it's mostly because they're not. And they know that that is what you want. And so that is why they're not giving it to you. Not that they can't give it to you. Look, this, this, it's not that they can't. This is the empress. He could give it to you. Stability and everything. But I'm going to tell you, sometimes people take <laughs> being the stable person in the family that takes care of everything, they take it a little too far. And it looked like earth signs somewhere, whether this is you yeah, or the person you're dealing with, someone is taking this a little too far. Just because you pay the bills or you make the most in the family, you you know, you, you the income is you, doesn't give you the right to treat people any kind of way, right? Because the way you got that abundance is from the universe. And the way it'll be taken away from you is from the universe. I'm just saying that's the universe talking. Y'all can agree with me or not. It may resonate with you. It may not. But if you start to see stuff declining, that abundance, right? You start feeling a little less than yourself, you'll know exactly where you are in this situation. And my suggestion is you better start reaching out and, and understanding where your wrong is in it. And some of you are. You're realizing, I was wrong for that. I was wrong to do that earth sign like that, that Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. I made a mistake. I see my wrongs in it. I see it. And you're probably wanting to come in to this emperor and apologize, but you're so afraid that they're not going to accept your apology. And, and the reason that you feel that, that perhaps they're not going to accept your apology because you know you ain't been equal in a relationship. You know you was not balancing things out in a relationship the way they should, the way you had this person interpret that they were going to spend their life with you or that you guys was going to start a life or a commitment or uh, that you were going to get in a solid relationship or stable relationship or build some. You was being deceptive and you knew that. And this person is now in the, rever in, in the reverse. This emperor, whether it's male or female, is like, no, you know, I'm not going to sit here and keep taking the crumbs off the table just because you bring in the most income in the family or because you make more or because some things I do depend on you for, you want to treat me like I'm less than. 
when you're supposed to love me and be equal to me. So, you know, either you apologizing or this person uh, that's in uh, the emperor that's in reverse, this is them saying, you know, I'm, I'm sorry that I went through all this with you as long as I have. And yeah, I'm, I'm a little upset about the situation and I got to work through this hardship or this loss because there had to be something that, and rather it was not necessarily a third party. It was just not seeing your worth. Three energies, right? You, that person, and whatever the third energy was, whether it was friends, family, job, or just not seeing your worth. A third energy could be someone just refusing to see your worth or taking advantage of what it is that you bring to the table, right? And you start to feel less than. There definitely could have been a third party, right? Could have been you hearing it through the grapevine or whatever that perhaps they had looked at different things or maybe had a choice, not saying they took it on. But one thing I do know with this empress in reverse, whether it be you fire sign towards Virgo Capricorn or the person you dealing with, they are starting to find the love within themselves, or they are looking for a new love relationship or a new one has come in. I'm just saying for this empress. Let's just see what's next. <laughs> Let's just see how much time we got. All right. I'm trying not to make these too long, but when the spirit starts talking, hey, I, I just go with it. I don't know how long you guys, woo, oh yeah. I don't know how long you guys like videos or readings to be, but I have to let flow whatever the spirit brings and, you know, <laughs> still under the bottom. Still under the bottom, okay. Um, yeah, the Empress still under the bottom. Okay, let's take a look at these three cards that just fell out now, Earthies. Okay, Earthies, we got the Chariot. <laughs> this is moving forward. We got the Queen of Cups. That, that's just love all day, every day, right? This is just, you know... Walking around with love like, you didn't break me. I just choose not to give it to you anymore. Like, I'm still loved. I'm still going to be who I am. You're not going to change me and make me not love and have trust in people or think that there isn't something better out there that will accept me. Because I can't change who I am. And you know, cancers, they straight love. Can't, like, cancers will love you to death. You get a cancer to turn on you, you... you, you you just bit off the hand that fed you. I'm serious. That's the same as with a Virgo, right? Um, if you if you did this Virgo this way and you got them to take their love and they moving on with their love, you you just screwed that all the way up. That's that that's just you know you just need to go on and start over because if a Virgo turn their back on you. When all they do is give, you know, Virgos are really giving. And sometimes, you know, people see they're too stuck in their ways and they feel like maybe they're not that. Um, maybe Virgos are not uh, so outgoing. Well, Virgos are usually about their pentacles. They're usually about family, cleanness, homes. Not all of them because we do got low vibe Virgos. So I'm not saying that that is always the case, but I'm just saying that cancers, you know, and you got a cancer card, so you could be dealing with a cancer. You could be moving on. Now, this emperor, whether you male or female, could be moving on to a cancer because you got two cards here, right, that can represent that. Um, and, uh, and maybe this person is moving on. They found a cancer. They found the love within themselves, the happiness, and they, they're about to just leave all this behind, and they are moving forward. You know, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, right? So they maybe they found uh, their happiness, and it was meant for them to find their happiness in this manner, in this way, and to walk away from uh, whatever this was that was going on that all of a sudden became very unequally balanced. And uh, you were moving on, and you're moving on, and that, that with love and taking your love and your cup, and you're just like, I'm gone. I'm like, I'm taking it with me. And when I take this with me, I'm going to go out there and see what else is out there. I'm not going to let you break me. Now, this, you have the three of wands. And I am now seeing this, perhaps there was a third party relationship. And you're like, I'm no longer part of all this. No more. 
I, I'm not sitting up here waiting, hoping you choose me, hoping that you come back to me, you know, hoping that you'll see me for who I'm worth, uh, see my worth or see what I bring to the table for our love, our relationship, our balance, you know, the children, the family, the goals. You said, no, 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 no. I'm not doing that anymore. I'm not sitting here waiting. I'm going after my own dreams. I'm going after my own commitment. I'm going after the love for myself. I'm going to take my love, get in my chariot, and go find me some real, true, passionate love. Like, passionate love, right? Because, you know, cancers, even Virgos, they can be very passionate when they want to be, right? And with you going out, that is where I see that you find, like, the love within yourself. And then you're going out there and you're going to find you some true love out there that's going to balance you out, the yin and the yang. You know, you're like, uh-uh, I'm going because I know it's out there and I am heading in that direction. Get my love, get my cup, pack up, get my bags. I'm I'm gone. I may I might just take what I can I can put in this cherry. I may not even take everything. I might just take what I can put in this cherry. One thing I know I can put in this cherry and move forward with is this cup of love that I still have in myself. You did not break me. And if this is the person you're going to, they're gonna be so happy when you get there because you learned your lessons. And you're gonna be, and the thing is. <laughs> If it don't work out, you're going to get right back in that chair and get it going because you learn your lessons. It don't make no difference. You're still going to have a great outcome when it comes to whether you move forward to someone else. Well, this is definitely for you. But you are not going to be no longer discontent. <laughs> you're like, no, thank you. Keep that cup. <laughs> Keep that cup because look at my cup. Look at my cup. It, it, it looks more royal. I'll take this one. <laughs> I'll take this one, right? You keep you keep that cup because that cup over there was with that three of swords. I no longer want that cup. No, no, no. That's not fulfilling. You, you don't even have enough love in that cup for me, for what I deserve. So I'm, I'm moving on. Take my love. Go find it. Everything's fine. Everything's cool. We're fine. Don't worry about it. You know, but you like, uh, I'm getting that movie <laughs> on Friday when it was just like, <laughs> don't call me because I'm going to call you. <laughs> don't call me whatever it is in Friday's movie. It's like, oh, you going to call me? Yeah, I'm going to call you. But don't call me and don't come around here. Don't ever, ever, ever come around here <laughs> again, right? Because you done took your cup of love, go and balance yourself, and you are done with this situation. They missed a great opportunity with you. <laughs> Let's just see if I can get one more card for this reading to close out. Here, give me one more card for the closing of this earth sign reading. Closing of earth sign spirit. Maybe spirit said, well, you don't need no more. You just told him the whole story. And it's long. Well, well maybe you say, okay, one time. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Look at that. Look at that. This is the end of your reading. Oh, wait a minute. Let me see. Because I think this is going to be the screenshot for this one, earth sign. This is it. Right? The tower in reverse. See, you just avoided that. Because the universe would have came in and been like, let me clear all this out. You was like, no, thank you, universe. I'm in my chariot. I'm all fired up and I'm moving. I know who I am and I know what I want. And I will no longer sit here in this energy. Thank you for about to come in and give me a tower moment. But guess what? I woke up just in time. Thank you for all your support and understanding, universe, that you did not bring me this tower moment. I got away just in time. You missed something because something, when the tower was in reverse, you, you got up and got to moving. You got in that chariot because, look, and you all fired up. Fired up about exactly where you going, who you going with, when you going, how you going, what time you going. You know, whether it's going to be tomorrow, it's going to be Monday, going to be Tuesday, Wednesday. It don't make a difference. You're looking in that direction. And you just like, off I go. Off I go. Off on my own. And I'm fired up. And this is all for me. And when I do it for me <laughs> and realize that I had to get up out that situation, because if this is upright, <laughs> this universe coming in to remove all the things that uh, no longer serve you, uh, you, you, you took action a little so fast. <laughs> you took action so fast, like, uh-uh, I'm gone. 
I'm gone. Uh-uh. I'm jumping in that chariot. I'm out of here. And I'm taking my cup of love. When I take my cup of love with me, I know that I'm going to find the right relationship within myself and also whoever it is that I'm looking for or going towards. All right, Earth Signs. I tell you, this has been wonderful, lovely reading. These energies are absolutely... I know in the beginning it's hard and it's, you probably still can be dealing with getting over because relationships is relationships no matter how they end you know you still have feelings and love is involved in these relationships and it takes some time to get over it and to ensure that you don't go back you know to the past but you avoided a tower here so i wouldn't suggest that earth sign you go back you know whether you're a Taurus, virgo or capricorn you've seen the truth in the situation a person didn't see the truth or see your worth in this relationship and i do not suggest that you go back to this person i suggest you stay on your journey and continue to move forward because just because that tile is in reverse don't mean the universe can't turn it back up right and because you heard this message from <laughs> gemini soul <laughs> and because you heard this message right you like that gemini soul told you so why you decided to head that chair in the opposite direction i don't know uh but be careful don't play with the universe all right if gemini soul then told you if this resonates with you, please give this a thumbs up, subscribe, 